So it's a Sunday afternoon and I'm just out uh, kind of enjoying the day, just uh, doing a little bit of fussing. Um, I moved all, if you remember, about 10 days ago, I went into my hives and we split a whole bunch of nukes. Uh, every hive, like we took three or four nukes and we just slashed them right down. And I took those nukes away, we dropped cells into them. The hives that remained, I kept the queen in the hive and a frame of bees and then all the drift bees from the day would come back to that hive. So I pretty much took everything from them but a frame or two of bees. So I gathered all those hives up and moved them into a yard and we are roughly 10 days from that. And I just want to spot check to see how these guys are going. Doing what I did is kind of a tight balance I gotta you know it's hard to gauge how many drift bees are gonna come back into that hive uh, so I run into the problems of over splitting the hive not leaving them with enough or leaving them with a little bit too much so I'm just going through and equalizing it just a little bit um, what I'm finding so far I'm halfway through the yard there's a yard of 80 here or whatever um, I'm right on the money so we uh, judged what was going on perfectly and I'll just show you a couple hives where I over split. There wasn't as many drift bees coming back. And uh, we left the colony uh, below that crucial uh, population balance where they can't gather enough resources or maintain a big enough um, cluster to be able to advance that colony forward. But what you're gonna see in the rest of these colonies, um, you're gonna see at least two frames brood. Uh, that's including a frame of open brood. And these colonies don't have a lot of bees in them, maybe two frames of bees and very loose. Uh, they're they're stretching the their capabilities right to the right to the edge, and I'm leaving that old queen back with a bunch of bees, and that puts that colony into a bit of a um, like a panic state. And we're right on the solstice right now, so we're at the pretty much the longest day here. These bees are in growth mode; they're driving forward. They sense that everything's been stripped from them, so they go into panic mode and they start pushing the boundaries. They build that nest, they urinate that nest. To where they're comfortable again and i'm just going to show you uh, a sign of that uh, through a few of these colonies okay we're just going to dig into this one see what's up i'm looking down into the nest and i'm seeing like one two three the cluster is about over three frames of bees here not a lot of bees there's no robbing going on right now because the crops out in bloom, clover's out, alfalfa's out, so these bees are actively foraging. I'm just going through here. These guys have fresh nectar in all the way around. Got some pollen coming in, and even some eggs in this this frame. Go in the next frame here. But the same. Fresh nectar, pollen, really good pollen, and here's a nest starting to establish. On this side of the frame, we have a full frame of open brood and starting to be kept brood. So, I mean, look at the bees on these frames. There's hardly enough to maintain a colony of this. Look, and here's a solid frame of brood, capped right out, or eggs right out to the edge. Lots of pollen in here. So I'm gonna count these guys open brood and cap brood as being roughly two frames. And they're, as you can see, the amount of bees taking care of all this brood. They certainly are pushing the limits. And the reason why they can get away with this right now is because we are uh, in, in June, warm nights, warm days, lots of nourishment coming in, very little robbing. Uh, these guys have the ability to expand their nest and push the boundaries a bit. So this is the spirit that I'm taking advantage of right now. So there's two frames of brood there, uh, you know, they'll hatch and this colony will nicely expand into a nice little three frame cluster, uh, make our way through summer, and then we'll drop it into the operation, um, into uh, dead spots or problem 
like hives that are having problems. Okay, let's go take a peek at another colony here just to see. So I'm basically finding, like this is about three frames of bees in here. Let's see what's going on. Fresh nectar coming in, both sides. There's a good little honey flow going on right now. These bees have been busy. So we have a beautiful little frame of brood here. All the way out. The side is full of resources and eggs. There's the queen. Beautiful little queen. She is unmarked, so I'm not sure how old she is. Side is right full of eggs. Take a look at this frame, a frame of honey and pollen. So including the open brood, I'm looking at two frames. One and a half to two frames. So these guys are chugging along, chugging along quite nicely. When I come back in about a month, it'll be a nice little box of bees. Take a look. I just want to show you a colony that I oversplit. So I didn't get the timing right on this one. I didn't judge the amount of uh, field bees coming in. So I left them a little bit shy. I'm not finding too many like this. For the most part, we did a pretty good job assessing um, the amount of bees we left with them. So here's just a tiny little patch of brood. Hardly any bees. I'm gonna to have to boost these guys. So we've got a nice little patch of brood on this frame. Pollen, honey, the queen. So there's hardly any bees in this colony. Oh, here's a nice little patch of brood here too. This will patch and this will help. And this side is, okay, so these guys have roughly about a frame of brood, but they're gonna get a boost because their numbers are low. Frame of brood, including um, including open brood. So these guys are going to get a boost. It's hard to make that judgment as we go, but uh, for the most part, here I'll dig into another one here. Let's see what these guys got. For the most part, we're finding. Yeah, so these guys have a nice. One, two, three, at least three frames of bees. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Oh yeah, these guys have a beautiful little frame of brood going on here. This side is a full frame of mature larvae. Okay, so these guys are ticking along quite nicely. See, just a, this colony just has a little bit more bees. Look at the frame of brood there. So my queen has been able to reinstate this nest quite quickly. I've stripped all the brood from these colonies, basically, and just left them with the drift bees flying in from the day. So there, you know, these guys are good. So there's two frames of brood here. These guys will look not enough to skim to boost out all those other colonies but oh this side's full of eggs and larvae so she stretched this nest right out just switch these two frames so including the open larvae and the eggs I'm looking at three frames of brood here so I'm really tapping into that so I'm really tapping into that panic state to reinstate this nest. And these guys are going to be a nice little colony in about three weeks or a month or so. So the hives look good. For the most part, they're exactly the where, where I wanted them. Uh, maybe equalize two or three of them, and I only pulled out one. That one I, you see right there. 
it was just too small. So um, I'll come back in a few weeks and see where they're at. If I have any extra bees uh, throughout the apiary, I'll come here and shake the bees into these boxes just to give them a boost because these guys can take a boost. I just want to mention, uh, I know there's a lot of people who watch my videos from all around the world um, and you have to realize where I beekeep. Um, some beekeeping management practices like this one here are very specific to my climate and very specific to the pests I have to deal with. I don't have small hive beetle. So any southerners down there wanting to consider this maybe you should uh, think of a different strategy because leaving a colony small like this um, to the point where they're having a, to put a lot of energy into reinstating that nest. A uh, small hive beetle could overtake uh, the colony very quickly and uh, pretty much ruin everything you're trying to do. So just realize I don't have small hive beetle and and yeah, thank God for that. <laughs>